Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sports Blitz here, and we're back with another NFL record prediction. Before I get into it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Um, again, guys, we have that goal of 1,450 subscribers, so please help me reach that goal. That'd be awesome. Um, so I'm kind of changing how I'm doing the record predictions for right now because I wanted to have all of these record predictions done by preseason uh coming up and the first like like the the hall of fame game with the i think it was the raiders and the jaguars is in 15 days so i need to get the record predictions finished and do like the playoff predictions super bowl prediction all of that so i'm going to finish the last 16 teams by division so today we're going to be doing the AFC South, starting with the Indianapolis Colts. Um, I'm not going to do the deep roster dive for for these ones. I think I have a pretty good idea um, of what players are on these rosters. So let's go ahead and get on into the predictions. So starting week one, they are playing in Houston against the Texans, and I'm counting that as a win. Counting week two as a win against the Jaguars. <clears throat> uh, week three, Chiefs at the Colts. Um, this is a tough one. It's... I'm not exactly sure what to expect here because, yeah, the Chiefs lost Tyree Kill, and that was a huge weapon to lose. Um, they do still have... Travis Kelsey. I'm not a huge fan of their run game. They do have Sky Moore now, who I actually am a big fan of. Um, But I do expect the Colts to be able to run the ball really well against them. And they do have Darius Leonard, who I think can at least slow down Travis Kelsey. I think I'm going to go I think I'm going to go with the Colts here again. Um, Week four. I think think that the Titans and Colts will split. I think they'll be able to split with each other. So I'm going to give them wins in their own, you know, home stadiums. Um, I didn't mention before, I do think that the Colts will sweep both the uh, Texans and the Jaguars. So let me go ahead and give them wins there. So that got a 5-1 and one divisional record. So then week 8... They are playing the Washington Commanders. And really, I don't expect the Commanders to be too great this year. I uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think they're a very good team this year. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a super strong believer in Carson Wentz. I thought he did pretty good with Indianapolis last year because they had such a good offensive line and one of, if not the best, running back in the league last year. I think probably last year he was the best running back in the league. Washington just doesn't quite have that. They've got, you know, yeah, they've got Scary Terry. They've got Antonio Gibson. Um, but they don't have an elite O-line and Jonathan Taylor, you know. But point is, I'm going with the Colts here. Week 9 against the Patriots. Word is that Mac Jones has had, like, an incredible offseason. Um, and he's in, like, way better shape right now. I don't know if this means that we can expect him to take more shots downfield, if he's going to be more mobile... I don't know exactly what to expect. I know with Bill Belichick's system, he usually doesn't really like a mobile quarterback type of thing. But who knows? Um, I feel like the Patriots will be able to scheme something weird up this game to be able to run the ball really well against the Colts. Um, I think it'll be a close game. I think it'll be... Fairly low scoring, but I think the Patriots pull it off. 
Week 10, we have the Raiders playing the Colts. And the Raiders had an incredible offseason. I... They're, they're one of my bigger risers this offseason. But I feel like the Colts are just a much better team right now. I really do. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Colts. Week 11. Now, I have the Eagles as... Honestly, I'm debating between having them as my number one and number two team in the NFC. Um... I'm debating on having them over the Rams. It's it's hard to say because the Rams have so much of a super team. Um, I think if they were to re-sign OBJ, I think that would push them over the line and definitely have them as the best team in the NFC for me. But where they don't have that other receiver, they're a lot more neck and neck with the Eagles for me. But point is I think the Eagles are going to be amazing this year that said I didn't predict the Eagles to go undefeated I I think that's a very uh large task and one of the losses I gave the Eagles was to the Colts so week 12 Steelers at Colts I think this is going to be a better matchup than a lot of people realize it's a Monday night game um I think it's going to be really close, actually. I don't think the Colts are going to blow out the Steelers, but I do think the Colts will pull it off. Um, then they've got the Cowboys in Dallas. I think this one I'm going to go ahead and give to Dallas. I'm excited to watch um, the matchup between CeeDee Lamb and Stephon Gilmore. I think that's going to be a really good matchup, but um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give that one to Dallas. Week 15, coming off the bye, they play Minnesota. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Colts right there. Um, week 16, Chargers at Colts. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Chargers. I They're another team that I think is going to be just incredible this year. I actually have them winning the AFC West this year. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the Chargers right there. But then they finish off the season with two wins to the Colt. Sorry, to the Giants and the Texans. So overall, um, I missed a game. I saw the record at the top that said 12 and 4. Um, but I, yeah, I didn't realize that I didn't predict this, uh, Broncos game. Um, that's going to be a close one. I'm not extremely high on the Broncos. I think out of the AFC West teams, the Broncos are the worst of them. Um, I mean, they're, they're still a good team. Don't, don't get it twisted, but... I think I'm going to I think I'm going to go with Indy right here. I think I'm going to go with the Colts. So overall gives them a 13 and 4 record. Um spoilers alert, that is going to um have them win the AFC South, but let's go ahead and jump on into the Titans prediction. Some of these are already filled in due to other predictions, but I'll kind of explain them. Uh I do think they'll win week 1 against the uh Giants. But uh, week two on Monday Night Football, I think Josh Allen and his team get a win. Um, I do think the Titans pull off a good win against the uh, Raiders. I think Derrick Henry pulls off a really good game that game. Um, as I mentioned, they'll be splitting with the Colts. I think they'll beat the Washington Commanders. But coming off a bye is when they get their other win to the, to the Colts. Um... Now, I'm going to say something that is going to surprise a lot of people. I'm actually going to have the Titans uh, split with the Texans. I think the Texans will be able to get a win against the Titans. So I'm going to do that, and then the Titans will get this Week 16 win. Because, you know, that's going to be late, late season, you know, 
almost play off Derrick Henry. Uh, week 9, they play the Chiefs, and I think the Chiefs are just the better team right now. I'm I'm going up with the Chiefs there. Um, I did also predict the Titans to beat the Broncos. Um, I think Derrick Henry is going to be able to run the ball r- really well in that game. I don't think the Broncos' run defense is going to be all that great this year, just being honest. Um, yeah, I think Derrick Henry is going to have a good game. I really do. Week 11, Titans play the Packers on the Thursday night football. I'm going to go with the Packers there. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a big game. Week 12, we have the Bengals at the Titans, and I have the Bengals as one of the best teams in the AFC. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give them the win over the Titans. Then they travel to Philadelphia to play the Eagles, and as I said, the Eagles are up there with possibly my best, possibly the best team in the NFC, in my opinion. I really think Jalen Hurts is going to take that next step, so they take a loss um, to the Eagles. Then I do think that the Titans will sweep the Jaguars, lose to the Chargers, and lose to the Cowboys. So overall, that gives the Titans an 8-9 and nine record. I know for a lot of people, that's really undershooting the Titans. But with really losing A.J. Brown and um, even Dante Foreman, I think their offense is going to really take a big step back. I really do. Um... A.J. Brown was a big part of that offense. And I know they have Robert Woods right now. They have Traylon Burks. And I, I do like Traylon Burks. It's just, it's a, it's a big task to replace A.J. Brown right there. So, Titans go 8-9. and nine. Then for the Texans, most of these are already filled out, actually. But I had them losing to the Colts, losing to the Broncos, Um, I'm actually going to have them lose to the Bears. I do think Justin Fields will be quite a bit better this next year. They didn't exactly give a lot, give him a lot of talent, um, you know, surrounding him, but I still think he has incredibly high potential and this is one of the wins I think he gets this next year. So, um, then I do think they'll lose to the Chargers. I think they'll split with the Jaguars. So I'm going to go ahead and give the Jaguars this week five win and then how the te- how the Texans win week 17. Um, then coming off their bye, they're going to lose to the Raiders, but then get that first win to the Titans. They're going to lose to the Eagles, then actually bounce back and beat, went, actually win two straight to the Giants and Commanders. Then they're going to lose to the Dolphins week 12, lose to the Bronx, Browns, excuse me, uh, week 13, lose to the Cowboys week 14, lose to the Chiefs week 15, lose to the Titans week 16, then beat the Jaguars week 17, and lose to the Colts week 18. So overall, that gives the Texans a 4-13 record. Um, I think Davis Mills... Um, I think he's going to be getting better, okay? I really do. But this this roster is not in a position to really compete yet. Um, I did really like their draft. I do like John Mechie. I do like Kenyon Green. Um, so I think they're on the right track. It's just their roster's not quite ready to compete yet. So moving on to the Jaguars, they had a... They got some decent players in free agency, but they really overpaid some. I really think they overpaid Christian Kirk. Um, But I do think they get a week one win to the Commanders, but then they go ahead and lose three straight to the Colts, Chargers, and Eagles. Then they bounce back and get a win against the Texans. Um, Then they go ahead and lose to the Colts, Giants, Broncos, Raiders, Chiefs, then after the bye, they lose to the Ravens, and actually the Lions. I think the Lions could be not 
not like an extremely competitive team this year, but they're going to keep themselves in, themselves in games. Dan Campbell is a really good coach, really underrated coach. So, yeah, I'm going with the Lions for that one. Um, and like I said, getting swept by the Titans, uh, lose to the Cowboys, and lose to the Jets. Um, so overall, a 2-15 and record for the Jags. I know a lot of Jaguars fans are going to be super angry in the comments. But you know what? I'm not going to predict every team to be a playoff team, okay? Um, I think that roster still has a lot of issues. Um, maybe Doug Peterson being a solid coach, maybe he'll be able to pull out some more wins. I mean, if they if they overperform, I think they could steal one against both the Colts and the Titans. Um, I think they could very, very well beat the Giants. Um, if the Broncos even underperform, they could beat the Broncos. Um, they, they could beat the Lions. Again, I just think the Lions are going to be a good team. Um, and really they could, they could take one, um, against the Jets right there too. Um, yeah, I mean, it's possible that this team overperforms. It's just right now. I don't think they're a very great team, just being honest. But anyways, those are my AFC South predictions. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like of this video, and be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Later.